Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with the man, myth, the legend, somebody we call the Lumberjack. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing really well. It um, We are truly roses amongst the thorns, Michael. We are, <laughs> there's all this horrible news out there, and people can come and watch this video and see us smiling and giggling. <laughs> I mean, this is the visual version of skipping. I'm yes. skipping on the inside. Yes, yes, yes. Again, what we what we talking about here is we both believe that the macro environment, uh, certainly through the end of next year and perhaps perhaps twenty twenty four, can't quite see that far. It's going to be kind of ugly and painful and yucky. That's my that's my technical term. That's my that's my advanced MBA degree right there. It's yucky. We use the same word as high school dropouts. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Yucky. It's because I can spell that word. I can't spell other big words like your vocabulary. Uh, yeah. But at the end of the day, micro. Yeah, I'm excited. So the topic of this video is based on the CPI inflation, based on what's going on with the rates, based on what the Fed is going to do by the end of the year. The housing market is going to go from bad to worse. Yes. Comma. Yes. And I'm getting more excited. So yes. uh, talk about all that from your perspective. Yeah, I mean, I think that um, people are watching lots of crash videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I did the first 10 minutes of my live stream. I might have gotten some of the math wrong on Sunday, but I shared with them, no video out there is actually doing people justice and taking into account the tax benefit of owning these properties. Mm. And the amazing thing is, is that all we're doing is continuing to add people to the sidelines. And everyone knows it. Everyone's like, oh, well, I was going to buy. Oh, like this is a dinner party conversation. Mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah. I was going to buy. I was going to buy. I was, gonna buy. I was ready. Not I was day. ready, but I was ready. And so those are all the conversations. And so. Well, one more yeah. thing. I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm not only hearing that on the buyer side. That's what makes this environment different. So, I'm hearing it on the seller side. Yep, I was going to list, but I was going to list, yep. but I had, I had um, a young lady mm -hmm. yesterday. I think she's 81 years old. Okay. Uh, she lives in a uh, big house by California standards. Okay. She wants to trade down. Yep. Sure. Makes sense. Uh, she has a mortgage like 20% on her house, yep. right? She's yep. got plenty of equity, yep. which, oh, by the way, she has to live on the rest of her life because that's all she has. Sure. So she's doing the math with her advisors and whatnot. And, uh, you know, after a lot of work, she came to the realization because again, she's in California. So she has prop 13, right? So she, sure. she's paying like seven cents for her property taxes or, you know, whatever. And yeah. um, she can't afford to move. No, mm -hmm. she can't afford to move her payment, even on a smaller town home, given that she has to take some of the money and live on is, is her, you know, her 4% or whatever it's going to be, you know, living expenses. She can't afford to move. She might actually get roommates. She might house hack. I was just going to say, she needs a house hack. Those are yeah, all the numbers for a house hack. That's exactly what I told her. Yes. I'm like, I know this feels weird. Yes. I know you're, you know, you're not 21 or 18. Um, and I actually had this conversation with business insider and got her connected with some of my, my followers, uh, folks, baby boomers, specifically women. Cause yep. that's where I hear it from. Who's yep. significant other past. Cause men Pat die earlier or left or whatever yep. happened. And, you know, they're sitting in this big home and they still need income and it's all they have. Yeah. Don't get debt. No, no. Go or reverse mortgage. Or don't oh. Get a, oh, don't get a reverse mortgage. I'm helping a, that we're helping that couple out now. And yeah. don't do that. house. house hack. Hack. Yes. And oh, by the way, here's a crazy thing. If you get roommates and you were selective and you get the right ones, most of the time you'll live longer because you'll have yes. stuff to do. You have yeah. people to socialize and mm -hmm. you won't be as miserable right it's just it's a win 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 and so you, you we we'll see what she does completely pick your roommates yes completely it's pick, legal to pick your roommates not only that mike but not that she's there yet in home nursing split the yeah. cost between three people your age yeah she's um she like, doesn't uh, she's a she's a spitfire so yeah she's, i'm saying eventually yeah yeah eventually yeah no you're right that's what you say or get crazy ADU with solar panels on the roof. Y'all don't talk to me about that. I still don't know if I'm going to do that ADU because I'm so I mad about that solar. I get it. It's 20. I, listen, I've done the math. I've done the math on solar for, for 16 years. Even with all the money that they give you, it makes no sense. Yeah. It makes no sense. But back to, but, but back to like essentially what she's kind of going through is 
you she can't trade down. The payment would be so high. And on the mortgage side, like on the reverse mortgage side, I think you burn through your equity in six or seven years, something like yeah, that. Yeah. And I mean, for her, I mean, I property taxes is a big deal. I think I think the place she's in today, I mean, no joke. I think she's paying like 400 bucks a month in property right. taxes. Right. If she were to buy a, a, a smaller, much smaller place, it It'd would be, be like four thousand? or five grand. Yeah, yeah six sure. grand. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just that alone is 500 yeah. bucks the wrong way. Yeah. So again, back to your dinner conversation. This is why it was so easy for me to call it. No one else did. Yep. Because I understand math and human behavior. Of course. My focus of education in my econ degree, every economist has to pick a focus or they should, or else you just don't know Jack <laughs> was the consumer because I've always looked at the consumer as a school of fish. Yes. Mm -hmm. sure. They move together. If you've ever watched a big school of fish, they, they just almost instinctively move together. <clears throat> so that's why I look at, I look at what's going on. I'm going, shit, rates are going to seven. Yep. That's going to pull supply off. It's going to yep. pull demand off. We're going to enter nuclear winter. It's, you know, it's, it's, we, it, housing market is going to be a depression. And then I don't know what happens in March. In March, we could we could start a crash. I don't know. I have no opinion yet. I don't know what the economy will look like. I don't know what employment will look like. I don't I don't know. I don't know. But I know this. We are going to have no supply. We're going to have record low transactions. And we are not going to get the price decline that people are expecting. Median national price. The math doesn't support it, in my opinion, through through March, at least. <laughs> You're, I, yes. Yeah. I mean, it, Mike, this winter is, and people that are calling, I mean, was it somebody just reiterated from Wall Street that their plan was like seven something billion, $70 billion, $700 billion. Yeah. Some massive number. Yeah. They want to buy houses. They're going to carry a few rounds. And they're going to let it get down at 10%, 20% in some areas, maybe 30 in some areas. And they're Dude, going to walk up to a builder yes. and say, you know what? You're having problems selling stuff. Why don't we take the next 80? Of and I'm going to want a discount, Yep. but I'll take the next 80 so you can keep your guys busy. 100%. Done. Yep. I'm telling Mike, and people just don't get that. If you think that the market's going to correct 50 anywhere, and that Wall Street or massive investors with billions of dollars on the sidelines aren't going to jump in. It's not the open door concept. No. It's not the offer pad concept. No. It's different. It's because buy they buy it to hold. Occupy, right. Buying it to then occupy it with renters. Yeah. That's the whole purpose of their strategy. It's not a flipping business. Flipping businesses are great when it's great. And you would great think, market, except even they screwed it up in a market like this. Well, that's the whole thing, though, is their calculation was way off, right? Yeah. That like, AI, like, AI was wrong. <laughs> yeah, a hundred. Well, yeah, and the guy. Well, so what? I, what we always. Some. I'm in the. I'm in that business. Me too. What we always I joke was. about. Yeah, what we always joke about is that the AI was wrong because you still had a human programming. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works, folks. At least today. Uh, so, so again, yeah, I think the housing. Yeah, I think the housing market is. You know, yesterday I would say the housing market was bad. Uh -huh. I was warning people it's going to get worse. We got the numbers today. They are worse. The Fed's going to do more. Rates are going higher. We're going to pull more supply. More. Blah, blah. It's We're gone from bad to worse. It's now official. But yeah. that doesn't mean, at least through March, a crash in prices. It just means a wicked crash in transactions. I think prices continue to correct. I think there's markets that we're going to see. I think, I think we'll see in some markets double-digit declines in that time. That's my belief. Yeah. Again, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking national median. So we Agreed. don't get yep. it twisted. Yep. yep. Nope. National median. Yep. National median. I, th I still, like I said, I think we give back a lot of this year's gains. I just but not do, negative, but not negative. And then next year is, is my swan song next year. I think we see a nasty number. <laughs> and again, oh the God. more evidence that's coming. The giveaway administration. Oh, with the call. giveaway programs, please. <laughs> what is coming? <laughs> Some giveaways. That's what's coming oh, next year. Crap, yeah. <laughs> oh, and that's the thing is like, that's the fly in the ointment, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's it, the it, thing it, that, it, but the market it, needs to correct. It needs to, but again, if you come in and you rejigger with the low end, oops. Well, that's the thing is my, my expectation we've talked about it a couple of times is I believe that there's going to be so much activity on the low end when they do these, these, yeah, programs. it could pull the, like the, the it's just going to pull the number button. down. 
because nothing I, I, move up is going to be there. I don't know. But can it pull down that much? I mean, like I'm watching the Vegas market. It's down 10 points. Medium. Yeah. 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 It. Oh, I don't know. It's going to be, it's, I'm just, I'm so excited. And again, uh, yeah, what, what this cool. video is, is like from bad to worse, but comma, I'm getting really, I'm getting more and more excited because again, I've been doing this a long time. It is. I mean, if you go back and read real estate books from the eighties, which I have, I remember, I remember in 2003 reading books by Robert Allen. I mean, like original print books, not yeah. the 17th revision. Mm -hmm. Like I spent hundreds of dollars <clears throat> buying books, like first editions. Like I have a book, I have a first edition from William Nickerson who wrote it in the fifties. Wow. Right. It's just cause I wanted to see what they were saying. Cause all these revisions, they clean it up for now, but they, they were all talking about um, just, you know, the classing transaction, they talked about sellers not taking cash. They had to take seconds. They had wow. to take seconds with no payments in a 10 year balloon. You and I are talking about a deal where you're going to pay two and a half points, but payments. Now the 1980s were so bad. People wow. had equity, but they couldn't unlock it. This is what happened. You're an owner. You feel like you have 50 K, but you can't access and you don't want to discount it. So you get a buyer that comes in. That gets that assumes your first because that you could do that in the 80s. They were assumable. And then they would write a note for your 50k equity and, and say, you know what? We'll we'll promise to pay that in 10 years, a 10-year balloon, but no payments. Think about that. This is what was happening. Hence, tr hence wow. you still did two million transactions. Hence, prices didn't come down because people got creative. Right. Right. This That's is awesome. why I am so excited because I will get creative. Dude, I mean, have you ever thought about that? Most people haven't. Well, I mean, that's, you know, there's guys that are buying stuff like you were saying, zero down, and they're just walking away with only a payment. Like that still to me is awesome, right? Yeah, think, of, but think about this. You get a seller, like it's in Vegas. Like you find a million dollar property just for grins. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, let's say the, you know, the, the owner has a 2% mortgage on it, whatever. You want the first. Yeah. Yeah. You do it subject to, and then they got 200 grand in equity but they will not give you a dollar off the million bucks. Just think about that. I'm going to assume the first, I will give you your 200 grand. I will give you your price, but I want my terms. I will give you the 200 grand in 10 years. Yeah. No payments. I've yeah. talked about doing 0%, 1%. Screw that. In the eighties, they were delaying payments for a decade. Yeah. It's awesome. That is what is coming. And on that million dollar home, you I mean, you're going to have at least, 200,000 bucks worth of pay down for if, if it doesn't depre if it doesn't appreciate at all you will have paid 200,000 oh, in so a like decade yeah exactly so even if there's no appreciation we have a flat decade let's just get nuts it's decade yeah flat decade nothing but no payments and all you're doing is paying the old mortgage in a 10 year period on a million dollar home you're going to pay 200,000 bucks down in equity mm -hmm. and then at that point if you can't pay it and the guy doesn't want to redo something then you sell it yeah exactly yeah so again, if you the, have a flat decade. Yeah, if if and that's if you have a yeah. flat decade. Yeah. Yeah, and again, yeah, it's just I I'm gonna go back and I I I think I boxed them up. I got to go back and read the creative books from the '80s because again, I think I'm creative, but man, some of the stuff I read in the '80s was just like, wow, I can't believe you did that. So it's again, awesome. the whole idea is to the whole idea is to communicate with the seller, right? You're working on a very creative deal right now mm -hmm. that only works when you build a relationship. Right. Right multiple communications point. This is not one dial closes. This is just do the work, be a good person, communicate, share above board, why it's good for them, why it's good for you. And if it doesn't work, move on. Right. It's This is the time it's coming. So where can people find you? Cause you're doing lots of amazing things. Thank you, my friend, Lumberjack Landlord on Instagram and YouTube, as well as live stream Sundays, 1130 AM Eastern time. And we're not going three hours anymore. We're doing 90 minutes. I like it. You cap it. Yeah, had to cap it because we were we there were a few times we went four and five hours, and literally like I'm I'm old, getting up from my chair hurt. Yeah, not good. Yeah, good. All right, buddy. So Thanks again. Minutes. Thank you, my friend.